Hello, Ravain de Aubois here. You don't usually see me with these in my hands, but this video is to discuss pains that you can develop in your wrist, in your elbow, in your shoulder, your neck, well, playing the elbow as a matter of fact. Uh, so why the violin? Because when I was learning the violin many, many years ago, my teachers really insisted on a couple of postural and grip uh, considerations that I found over the years also apply to the oboe and how that can translate into pain later on. So here's a little demonstration. There we go. Now let's hope I never have to play violin for you ever again. Hmm. So I want you to notice a couple of things. First of all, on the neck, uh, notice how my thumb has to be nice and loose on the side. You don't grab your neck like this. You can see that the tension is building up right away in my thumb and in my wrist when I do that. But if I leave my thumb nice and smooth, then you see that everything is nice and relaxed. My elbow is relaxed, my shoulder is relaxed, all is good. Same thing goes for the bow. In fact, I'm going to stress this one. Now, maybe you saw me change my shoulder a little bit, and that goes precisely into what I'm going to explain for you right now. These considerations, I found, uh, make a big difference how you hold your oboe, and how that translates to your shoulder, the various pains you can get in your neck and so on. So I'm lucky to have Beethoven and popcorn here to keep me company while I explain to you that when my teachers taught me how to pick up the bow and hold it, they gave us this little exercise for beginners. It consists of using uh, a pen, a screwdriver, a hammer, absolutely anything. But you just put down your fingers naturally, just drop your fingers over them, pick them up. So nothing special, you just grab it and pick it up. And now observe your fingers. Um, this applies to my very square hand, your fingers might look very differently, but the idea is that you just take it and start looking at your fingers. You'll notice that there's a very natural curve that happens here. Your wrist follows very organically into your fingers. Your thumb here has uh, a very rounded appearance that leaves this part of your thumb completely relaxed. You know, it, 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 the thumb also extends very organically into the wrist. Uh, in my case, the thumb has a little bit of a, a downward curve into the, um, the, the marker. Okay, so how do you take this very natural position, very loose feeling that you had for the bow? You know, they make you do this kind of exercise when, when you're learning to make sure that everything remains uh, fluid. How do you do that and apply it to the oboe? So the oboe has a certain weight to it. You have to rest it on your thumb rest, but you want to maintain this organic posture you want to make sure let's see if i can fix this right that this remains nice and relaxed while you're playing now again this is for my own personal hand shape and size your fingers might have a different profile your hand might not be as square as mine so understand that things will be a little bit different for you but the principles remain the same so i want to keep this nice comfortable feeling Notice that for me, it means that the thumb has to point inside towards the oboe a little bit, just like it did for this, for me. And it also has to curve downwards a little bit. I don't know many people who will feel comfortable picking up their pen like this. There might be some, but I think most people will naturally have a little bit of a curve like that. Same thing with the bow. Same thing with the oboe. Now, the problem with this is that the thumb plate here, you can see, 
is digging into my nail. That's not comfortable at all. So it is comfortable if I just put it there once and I start playing and you know I'm not holding up any weight, especially if I lift it up like that. It is comfortable to keep it in this position, but as soon as the weight starts digging into my thumb, and this is not comfortable at all, and what I found that happens is that my thumb starts doing this. You might notice that from yourself. Well, look at what's going on here. Ouch. You can see the bulge here. You can see a bulge here. This is not relaxed, not by a long shot. This is very tense. This tense is causing muscle strains right here, which is actually being compensated for in my shoulder. You start getting the idea where headaches come from, uh, where wrist pains come from. It's not much, is it? Just that. Well, I've came up with a little solution. So on my thumb plate, I made myself a little uh, thumb pad here that I just uh, clip onto it. And what it does is it's molded in a special way that preserves my natural favorite position. It's very comfortable to hold it with the thumb pointed towards the instrument and down a little bit. And notice it goes away right, the, the, the roundness comes back, the tension goes away right away. And I actually can keep this roundness, this natural uh, profile for hours of playing. It's, it's really my mouth that'll go tired before anything else. I've been using this now for four years maybe and I don't have pain in my hands anymore. My shoulders go like this when I start getting nervous and frustrated, not because of improper uh, position. Okay, like I explained on my blog, robindeaubois.blogspot.ca, the design for my little ergonomic thumb rest over here, the design for it, I'm giving it away for free, no patents or anything like that. Uh, you can make your own, you can sell them if you like. Otherwise, if you want me to make one for you, just get in touch. And uh, I've made a bunch of these of different shapes and sizes for the different hand types, uh, shapes and sizes of your hand. So uh, no problem, we'll work something out. But uh, one thing that it does not address is the issue of weight of the instrument on your hand. One of the reasons I stopped pursuing a professional career so many years ago, just one of the reasons, is that I had full-blown tendonitis. And many of you uh, have experienced this, you know what I'm talking about. If you get worried about anything, the tension comes back, boom, the pain comes back and the playing really suffers because of that. Um, so the ergonomic thumb rest here is great for injury prevention. It's great for strengthening the muscles that will keep you in a very natural and comfortable uh, profile, if you like, shape, the whole arm. But what it does not do is take the weight of the instrument off your hand. Um, for that, I've seen a lot of people use these neck straps, especially for the English horn. This is a cheap one that I had for saxophone, but I mean a neck strap is a neck strap. It's something that goes around your neck and you clip it on your instrument. Uh, it doesn't matter how expensive or fancy it is. What I didn't like about this is two things. One, it kind of stuck here. You can't really move around too much. Once you're there, you're there. My neck is very stiff right now. And, well, you know what? It doesn't take any weight off of my hands anyway. It, you know, I can do this, but it really doesn't hold up the instrument at all. So what I used to do back then instead is I built myself something like this. This is not the one I used to use, but the idea is the same. So it's a string with a hook but I hook it to my stand instead. Uh, it's better if you can find a string that you can adjust for length. But the idea is this. I hook it to my stand. Take my oboe. Take the little hook over here that you can buy in any hardware store. Clip the belt to it. Et voila. Well, look at that. No weight on my hand. None at all. None whatsoever. And I also have complete freedom of movement. 
I can express myself as much as I want. If my string were adjustable, it could go down a little bit. I can bring down my stand a little bit, doesn't matter. But the idea is that I am fully comfortable, I am fully natural. There are no tensions, no restrictions at all anywhere. And that's really what uh, you want to look for. Now, there are a lot of um, gadgets that hold up your instrument from your chair. Um, some are very expensive, some are less expensive. They have different designs. Some of them might be better suited for the English horn. This one, I don't know how well it would be for the English horn. Well, maybe if I had a longer string, but this one works very well for the oboe. Um, you know, you use what works for you. The, the main thing is that just as with the thumb rest, you want to have your posture as free, as organic, as natural, and unrestrained as possible. No weight, but complete freedom. Whatever you buy, that's what you need to be looking for. Otherwise, the strains come back. What starts as a strain here or here radiates somewhere else, and you're just making things worse. But with simple solutions like this and like this, you know, there, there's hope. There's hope. I don't have pain anymore, and, you know, there's hope for any of you. Who are feeling pain you can get over it and if you don't feel any pain well you know what to do to prevent it right take care